Welcome to Excel Video 493, everybody. I'm Nate Moore. If you're watching these videos as they're released at moresolutionsinc.com, next month is the 500 Excel video. I'm excited about it, looking forward to it. One of the things I'm going to do to celebrate is to give away one of these physician referral data analyses. Here's my website and some more information about the analysis that's available, and I'll talk more about it as we get a little closer to the 500th video and the giveaway. But for now, physician referral data is CMS data you can use to estimate your referral share in the marketplace. I'll talk more about that in future Excel videos. Now let's talk about matrix and visualizations and power view. Last time, what we did is we put a couple of fields in a, a matrix. Right now, I have three fields in the rows, and it's it's kind of a mess. You can scroll down and come here, and there's lots of data, and it, it's just hard to get your arms around it in a matrix. So what you can do from the Design tab in Power View, what we want to do is go to Show Levels, and the only option we have now is to enable drill down one level one level at a time. What that means is that it's going to collapse everything for us down to the first level. Primary insurance is the first field in my rows area. So it's going to collapse to there. And then if I hover over, well, excuse me, excuse me, if I click on Blue Cross and I hover here, I've got a drill down arrow. And what I can do is I can drill down and say, okay, Blue Cross is 665 is my average fee, 11,447 patients. If I drill down, there's the 665 and the 11,447 split by location because location is the second field in my rows area. Now I could go down, let's go to Lyme's Clinic and see that 489 number. If I double click here, here's the 489 sorted by place of service and organized that way because again, place of service is my third field. And I can drill up there and then I can drill back down. Notice that I can either click and use the drill down button or I can just double click on Jalapeno's Burn Center and I get the drill down to work either way. And then I can drill up, drill up, and when that drill up arrow goes away, it tells me, hey, Nate, you're at the top of the stack. You can't drill up past primary insurance because that's the top of the list. That's your first field in the rows area. And so that's the way to do drill up and drill down in a matrix. Only ma available in a matrix. You can't do it in a table. But what it does is it just collapses the screen and gives you a little more visibility into what you're doing. If I had rows, excuse me, if I had primary insurance location and place of service in columns instead of rows, I would get these options to show all grouping levels at once or enable drill down one level at a time. The difference is right now I've enabled drill down one level at a time, which means I'm collapsed. I'm only seeing the level I'm on. If I want to see all levels at once, let me click here, and that is what I started with. Primary insurance, location, place of service, primary insurance, location, place of service. That makes sense? That's what we're doing with drill up and drill down. As soon as you do show levels and enable drill down, then you just you can either double click or watch for the arrows and it'll point you, do you want to drill up or drill, drill down? Easy way to make your power view matrix visualizations a little more manageable when you've got lots of data. I hope that was helpful for you. Stay tuned. I've got more power view tricks coming. Thanks for watching.